As we all know, Rust has a steep learning curve, and because of that I've made this video to help you know exactly what to do with the loot you find during different stages of the game. Be sure to watch to the end so you know exactly what goes where. To kick things off, let me explain the different stages of game in Rust. In this video I will refer a lot to early, mid and late game. This isn't referring to the time until the next server wipe, instead it's referring to how advanced you are in your technologies and your gear. You'll see a lot of YouTubers such as Wellen repeat repeatedly flout through these lines and rise straight to late slash end game with rocket launchers and scrap helicopters and such. It's important to note that this is very difficult, he has thousands of hours of experience so it's okay to take things steady for your first couple wipes. Now, early game is having a simple stone base with some burlap clothes, wooden armor and basic weapons such as a stone axe, um, nail gun and crossbow of your equipment too. Mid game would be a honeycomb base with better tools such as actual pickaxes and guns such as the SAR with perhaps a flame turret in your base. Uh, late and end game is everything you're looking for, it's auto turrets, wind farms, rockets, AKs, the whole shebang. And for those of you looking to know exactly where and how to build your base, let me know in the comments and I'll have a video out for you pronto. With that being said, our first component is scrap. This is commonly found but a very valuable resource, as such they should always be kept if possible. It can be found in sunken crates, sunken chests, tool crates, barrels, primitive military and elite tier crates, as well as on military tunnel scientists, roaming scientists and outpost scientists. It stacks to a thousand, it can't be recycled, and it's used for researching items, as well as purchasing some from shops such as the submarines and boats. Scrap is also used to craft some items such as workbenches, research tables, and the oh so important nail gun, not to mention gambling for a blueprint or using the tech tree on the workbenches. Gears. These are found quite commonly, and whilst you can recycle them to get materials, it's good to save some for later game as they are used in a lot of crafting. Uh, they're found in barrels, crates, sunken chests and sunken crates. They stack to 20 and when recycled will give 13 metal fragments and 10 scrap. They're used in a lot of crafting as I said, which is why it's useful to save them. You'll need 1 for a pair of binoculars, 5 for an armoured door, 5 for an armoured double door, 3 for a ladder hatch, 2 for a garage door which offer a lot of defence, uh, 5 for an external wooden gate, 10 for an external stone gate, 3 for a flame turret, one for a reactive target, one for a snap trap, otherwise known as a bear trap, five, uh, three for a vending machine, two for a shotgun trap, and two for a chainsaw. Metal pipes. These are also found commonly, and whilst good to recycle, it's important to keep several handy as they are used in the production of a lot of weapons and some forms of ammo. They're found in barrels, crates, the CH47 locked crates, elite tier crates, military crates, and sunken chests. They stack to 20, and when recycled, will return one high qual or high quality metal, and five scrap each. In crafting, you will need one double barrel shotgun, one for salvage tools such as the salvage hammer or pick, one for the revolver, two for the pump shotgun, three for a bolty, one for a semi-auto pistol, six in a rocket launcher and two for each rocket, six for flamethrowers, three for the python which is a revolver, one for each high velocity rocket and whilst this is cheaper than a regular rocket, they do significantly less damage. A two for an incendiary rocket and two for a flame turret. Metal springs. These have little use early in game as they're used exclusively for the crafting of guns, therefore you only need a few to keep handy for when you have the blueprints. These are classed as uncommon and are found in barrels, crates and sunken chests. Metal springs will stack to 20 and when recycled give one high call and 10 scrap each. In crafting you need 4 for the AK, 1 for a Bolty, 2 for the MP5, 1 for the custom SMG, 1 for the Thompson, 1 for the SAR, 1 for the pump and 1 for the Python rope. This is a common but very useful drop for early, mid and sometimes late game too. They are found in barrels as well as sunken chests and crates. You can recycle them for 15 cloth and for crafting it will take. 2 for the crossbow which is an incredibly useful weapon, 1 for the wooden armour, 3 for a ladder which is very effective in raiding especially early on, 1 for wooden barricades, 1 for netting and 2 for each shotgun trap. The sewing kit. These are great for recycling early in game and from mid to late game they are needed for the production of advanced clothing, especially if you are going into the snow biome. They can be found in barrels, crates, sunken chests and sunken crates. They stack to 20 and will give 10 cloth and 2 rope each when recycled. Very useful when making wooden armour early in game and crafting requirements are 2 for a bed, 1 for leather gloves, 2 for jackets, 1 for boots, 1 for a coffee can helmet, 2 for roadside armour, 
between six and eight for the metal armor, uh, one for a snow jacket, and two for the hazmat suit. Road signs. These are quite common, found in barrels, crates, and sunken chests. They will mostly serve to be recycled early game and providing one high qual and five scrap each. They stack to 20 and later game you can use one for a piece of road sign armor and one for a salvage cleaver. The rifle body. Classed as rare, the components offer very little value early game, however, provided you have the right blueprints, possibly from playing in previous wipes on that server, they are of course instrumental in crafting guns. Rifle bodies can be found in the CH-47 lock crates, elite tier crates, military crates, military tunnel scientists, and stacking to 20, this component can be recycled for a return of 2 high quality metal and 25 scrap each. They are needed to craft AKs and bolties. Thank you for watching this far into the video. If I've helped in any way, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and it helps me to make more and better content at no cost to you. Now, on to the next component. The SMG body. Much like the rifle body, this is classed as rare. However, it's slightly more common and can be found in the CH-47 rock crates, elite tier crates, military crates, on military tunnel scientists and roaming scientists. SMG bodies also stack to 20, giving 2 high quality metal and 15 scrap when recycled. There is one used in the crafting of the custom SMG, the Thompson and the MP5. I would recommend saving 3 to 4 of these if you have the space, although early game they are best used for the scrap. Semi-automatic body. The third of the different gun bodies, this is easily the most common, being found in barrels, crates, on military tunnel scientists, roaming scientists, outpost scientists, in sunken chests too. I can recommend keeping several of these handily, even in early wipe, as in crafting they are required for the SAR, or semi-automatic rifle, which is one of the most commonly used guns when upgrading your gear from the nail gun. Semi-automatic bodies give a recycler return of 2 high qual and 75 metal frags. 15 scrap as well. You can have up to 20 in a stack and they are used in the crafting for the SAR and semi-automatic pistol too. This big blue square is mostly my primary method of getting cloth as well as the hemp plants. Uh, this is due to its lack of use as a crafting part. The only useful thing it's used to craft is the hazmat suit. Other than that, tarps are practically redundant. They're found in barrels, sunken chests and sunken crates. They stack to 20 and can be recycled for 50 cloth each. And for crafting you'll need 1 to 2 for water catchers, 1 for a water barrel, 2 for a large planter, 1 for a small planter, 1 for the frog boots and then 5 for the aforementioned hazmat suit. It should be noted that although the hazmat suit does sound very useful for the radioactive parts of the game, as long as you've got full armour and some clothes underneath you will not need the hazmat suit to keep away the radiation. Tech Trash. This is a rare but good loot, stacking to 50 of these and providing 1 high qual and 20 scrap each when recycled. This component is only useful for crafting late game items and can be recycled freely during early to mid game. They can be found in the CH47 lock crates, elite tier crates, military crates, on tunnel scientists and in the APC crate also on roaming scientists. And for crafting you need two for C4, one for a hollow sight and one for a laser sight. Empty propane tank. A common component that will stack to five and provide 50 metal frags and one scrap each when recycled. I wouldn't recommend saving these in early game as they are so common, found in barrels, sunken chests and sunken crates. However, you will need them in mid and possibly late game as crafting parts. You'll need one for a water purifier, which is actually quite useful. Two for a flamethrower, which is perfect for raiding bases with wood. Five for a flame turret. Although these eat up low grade, they are a great deterrent and defense for your base. Sheet metal. Although useful late game, I would recommend simply recycling sheet metal as it will provide 100 metal frags and one high qual and 8 scrap each. For late game crafting however, you will need 1 for a heavy plate helmet, 2 for a heavy plate jacket and 1 for the heavy plate pants. Although it should be noted you will be extremely slow whilst wearing this armour and I believe you can't aim down sights either as a drawback to its immense defensive capabilities. This should not be recycled unless you already have a decent supply of at least 5 or 6. They do not stack and when recycled can give 20 scrap, but they are much better used for the monument puzzles. For example, getting the crates and blue keycard from Harbour. If you hit that notification bell, I'll have a monument puzzle tutorial coming soon. Uh, these are not used in crafting and can be found in barrels, crates, sunken chests and sunken crates. The electric fuse. This should not be recycled unless you already have a decent supply of at least 5 or 6. They do not stack and when recycled can give 20 scrap, but they are much better used for the monument puzzles. For example, getting the crates and blue keycard from Harbour. If you hit that notification bell, I'll have a monument puzzle tutorial coming soon. 
Uh, these are not used in crafting and can be found in barrels, crates, sunken chests and sunken crates. Throughout this video I've talked a lot about the recycler, a lot, and for those of you who are unfamiliar they look like this and can be found at most monuments, specifically the satellites, lighthouses, the train yard, water treatment plant, outposts, warehouses, nuclear plants, harbours, launch sites, supermarket, gas stations, junkyard and military tunnels. They cost nothing to run but do make a lot of noise so be wary for hostile players looking to steal your loot. This video contains information about every component today. If you have any further questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I will see you next week.